Uh, good morning and happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, so for a Monday, yesterday was pretty solid. I mean, admittedly, my low was the fact that I got accused of something that I clearly really didn't do. Well, I partly did something. It's basically one of those situations where, yeah, I did something technically, but not to the extent that it was presented to others. Okay, long story short, there were six cookies left. I had two, yet somehow four were missing. And I know for a fact I only had two, so yeah. But specifically, there were the cutouts from Wegmans. My mom was going to give them to one of my nephews, which... Funny thing, I'm actually the one that picked him out. So, yeah, I could have, I mean, having two was enough, and that's all I had, but somehow two more missing. I mean, I know for a fact who had them, but, you know, Lord knows my mom's going to believe me, so there we go. But, um, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say yesterday... Something really awesome happened. And with said awesome thing happening, you know, all is right with the world. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go into what it is. I'm not going to elaborate on it. All you need to know is that something really awesome happened and I can move on. Also, the voice came back. The voice, meaning the voice is awesome. You know, it's great to see, you know, the first uh, du uh, tu uh, duo coach, you know, Dan Shea. I mean, for some of the performances that I did see, it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, just, um, that was awesome. And my act of kindness was I emptied and filled the dishwasher for my parents. That's why I did. I did fill the dishwasher for my parents. So, I mean, and also, this should, I should also add this to my high. Yesterday was just a really good day. Like, nice day. Like, in a lot of ways, kind of like right now. Like, the sky is clear. It should be bright and sunny. I mean, I hear that we're getting snow. But at this moment in time, I've yet to... Actually, I could confirm it now, couldn't I? Actually, do I even... This is an old phone. Okay, I... Um... Sorry, this shouldn't take more than a minute or two. I forgot the... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let me look at the weather. Um, okay, it's 39, give you a high of, high of 61 today, even though it might rain. Yeah, someone said we're gonna get snow. I'm not really seeing snow. I'm seeing rain, not snow. Friday is gonna be, dude, Friday is gonna be 50 degrees out. Sweet. Perfect for the opening day of Rita's. I'm so excited for Rita's. Okay. So, enough about 
None of that personal things. Let's move on to the main event, shall we? Now, obviously it's Tuesday. We have a new Hot Ones guest to discuss. I believe it is the sixth Hot Ones guest of 2023. And I do believe I know who it is without even looking. I mean, again, this really is a shot in the dark guess for all intents and purposes. But, come on. Dune Part 2 is coming out this week. Timothy Chalamet is like the biggest thing since sliced bread at the moment. He's easily the hottest young actor, male actor, you're, you're going to find at this moment in time. Possibly outdoing Tom Holland. And Tom Holland's part of Point is, I'd be stunned if it wasn't Timothy Chalamet as this week's Outlands guest. But, we will find out momentarily. Let me uh, take care of a couple of things. And so, okay, first week feast, okay. I just look, okay, I clicked on the first week feast Instagram page. I can see it out of the corner of my eye, but I can't see who it is. So without further ado, the, I believe, sixth Hot Ones guest. Man, I'm going to be so mad if I get the math wrong on this one. The sixth Hot Ones guest of, did I say 2023? Shoot. Can you tell it's only, can you tell it's really early in the week, folks? Okay, so without further delay. This week's Hot Ones guest is Finn Wolfhard. Huh. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I, re I literally, like, this is the first time, like, again, this is a legit reaction. This is the first time I'm actually seeing th this news, you know, in front of me, right? When I first looked out, I really thought I was right and they got Timothy Chalamet. But, Finn Wolfhard. Now, okay, I gotta look this guy up. Hold on. Okay. I know he looks familiar. Okay. Oh, he's from Stranger Things. Okay, I also played Richie Tozer from it in the sequel, It Chapter 2. Oh, now I know how he looks to me. He's from Ghostbusters Afterlife. And he's going to be in the new Ghostbusters movie coming out later in March. Okay. Okay. So, I thought he looked familiar. I just couldn't remember what I'd seen him in. Alright. Should be pretty cool. I'm sure he's going to... I'm sure right away, the fact that he was in the Ghostbusters movies, I'm sure they're already going to talk about that. I'm sure they're going to talk about being at Stranger Things. I'm sure they're going to talk about being It. Um, and obviously It Chapter 2. Yeah. It should be a fairly solid, um, should be a solid episode coming out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong, not, no offense to Finn Wolfhard, but your movie isn't gonna be coming out. Ghostbusters Afterlife isn't gonna be coming out for like another month, give or take. Like, I'm not like. I mean, yeah, let, I mean, yeah, that's why he's gonna be on Highlands to promote Ghostbusters Afterlife, which, yeah, that's, that is coming out. But. I mean, look, first we feast people. Doom Part 2 is coming out and Timothy, Timothy Chalamet should be like right there for the taking. Why are you not getting him there? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I shouldn't be mad about this because at the end of the day, it's going to be, listen, I'm 100% sure this is going to be a great episode of Hot Ones. In fact, at this point, I almost expect it to be. Actually, I 100% expected to be. Who am I getting that one? Also, I 100% expected to be an awesome episode. But, 
You know, it's just a missed opportunity, is it? As well. I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Missed opportunities aren't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, at the moment, I can't think of any reasons how they're not a bad thing, but they're not always a bad thing. I mean, and you know what? It's so funny. I've been, um, I've been watching a Totally Not Mark's uh, review of Dragon Ball Z. Like, actual Dragon Ball Z, because he's done, you know, Dragon Ball Super, he's done Dragon Ball GT, he's done the original Dragon Ball, and now he's doing Dragon, actually finished doing Dragon Ball Z a while ago, I just kind of progressed that. They had long reviews. Like, again, like, I've seen him review all of One Piece, and all of the videos averaged over, like, 30 to 45 minutes. So... And the Dragon Ball Z videos, like, the Saiyan Saga alone was over an hour and a half. Frieza was almost two hours. Cell was, I just saw Cell yesterday, that was over two hours and 15 minutes. And Majin Buu, he's going to be, he, he's going, I haven't seen the Majin Buu stuff yet. At some point, I definitely will talk about Dragon Ball Z, from my experience. I should. But, I mean, I've seen some play missed opportunities, and... I mean, not just the review, but, you know, Dragon Ball Z as a whole. But I'll touch upon that when we get to, when we get to it. Um. So, Finn Wolfhard. Okay. I mean, I definitely dig the choice. You know, Ghostbusters is likely going to be the next big thing to come out after Dune. So, yeah, I mean... In a way, I would suppose that Dune is officially... Oh, here's the thing. The reason why I'm just putting a little more emphasis on Dune at the moment is because... You gotta remember the time of year we're at. You know, this is late February. You know, if cabin fever proved anything, it's that regardless of whether or not we have good weather, you know, we're looking for stuff to do for the weekend. And one of those things, believe it or not, is actually going to see a movie. And not just any movie. A big budget blockbuster movie. Dune Part 2, coming out this week, is going to be the one to kick it off. Now, admittedly, I'm personally not going to go see it because I didn't, I didn't even see Part 1. Yeah, Part 1 actually came out while I, was, while I still wasn't seeing movies. So... And I really, I don't really have that much of an interest to see Dune Part 2 yet. I mean, I did see a little bit of it on TV the other day, but it wasn't from the very beginning, so I probably missed something. My point is, like, even though those, that seems to be the case for me, like, blockbuster season is going to start this weekend with Dune. And next one's Ghostbusters at Frozen Empire coming out. Literally over, literally less than a month from now. So, yeah, forgive me if I'm not, you know, that excited for Finn Wolfhard being a hot one. And to be fair, I am. I actually really am. You know, the longer I let it sink in, the better I warm up, the more I warm up to it. And it should be a great episode overall. But, I mean, Doom Part 2 is probably like, the biggest cast of this year so far. Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Dave Bautista. Um, you have several Hot Ones alumni who are going to be out, who are going to be in the movie, like Florence Pugh and Austin Butler and Josh Brolin. You know, you've got probably the biggest, most extensive cast since, I don't know, the last big budget movie that I saw. And... You're not using any of them for this week. I wouldn't even say I'm mad about it either. And I wouldn't necessarily say I'm disappointed either. Especially when I'd rather save judgment until after the episode of Hot Ones is over. But I definitely see... But I definitely know a missed opportunity But when I see it. You know, I've been a fanboy for long enough to know, okay... This could have happened as opposed to what's currently happening right now. I can see that. 
And to me, you know, that definitely seems to be the case. I don't know what necessarily, I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. You know, Hot Ones has done, Hot Ones over the years has done a great job of subverting expectations and therefore, you know, how many times have I thought it was going to be someone on Hot Ones and it turns out that it was someone else? I don't know. I guess it is what it is. Honestly, considering the fact that we're due for a very nice day today, you know, it should be good. Um, and the fact that we're already on Tuesday should mean that we're, uh, you know, we're slowly getting through the week. I mean, I really should be more, I should really, like, look at this day with a little more reverence. It's the last Tuesday in February. Oh gosh, I just realized something. Without my computer, I have like no means to look at my notes as to what happened this whole month. And therefore, what made this month so great? I mean, it really shouldn't be that hard to figure out. So, yeah. Actually, I do have an update on my computer. Um, so apparently, the payment method I used to pay for you know, my computer, it didn't go through. So, I think I said this yesterday. So I had to pay for it again. In addition to that, I also had to pay like another 150 or 149 or something like that for like a new keyboard, like a new motherboard and stuff. So, hopefully I should be getting my new computer by Friday, but we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, I hope y'all like this video. If you like this video, channel on social media. As always, I'm very homely in this video. For all of you guys watching Joe for a name, we have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And remember, for all of you guys want to talk, Jam will be here to lend you a little bit. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.